Hello, my name is Nancy Velasquez and I'm a bariatric social worker and today's podcast is entitled Shifting to Self-Acceptance. What is self-acceptance? That is being loving and happy with who you are at this very moment. You appreciate and validate even the parts you'd like to change. Self-acceptance relates to the inner, whereas the body acceptance relates to the outer. You have a core sense of self-worth. Self-acceptance begins in infancy with the influence of your parents and siblings and other important people. As a child, you have an overwhelming need for love and approval and acceptance from the important people in your life. A developing child requires this emotional support. Healthy personality growth is absolutely dependent upon it. Self-acceptance is not harsh criticism, self-loathing, self-rejection, or and self-hatred. It's not you wanting to be someone else other than who you are. And it's not you searching to get the love and acceptance of others that you cannot give to yourself. Self-acceptance. You no longer seek the approval of others because you're satisfied with being you. Self-acceptance does not mean you do nothing to change and improve. It does not mean accepting your fate and life as it is. On the contrary, self-acceptance must be practiced. Become aware and acknowledge your behaviors, habits, and your personality, and not be afraid to look at yourself as you are. Be very aware of your image and the way you appear to people. Take complete responsibility for the various parts of your life. Someone once said that everything we do in life is either to get love or to compensate for the lack of love. What are your thoughts? As adults, we strive to achieve what we felt we were deprived of in childhood. If you grew up feeling for any reason that you were not totally accepted by your parents, you will be internally motivated throughout your life to compensate for that lack of acceptance by seeking it in your relationships with other people. Your own self level of self-worth is determined largely by how well you feel you are accepted by the important people in your life. When you believe that other people think highly of you, your level of self-acceptance and self-esteem goes straight up, that means improves. However, if you believe rightly or wrongly that other people think poorly of you, your level of self-acceptance will plummet, that is, will decrease. Take an inventory of self. Accentuate the positive and minimize the negative. The real difference between optimistic people and pessimistic people is that optimists are always looking for the good in every situation, the opportunity in every problem, while pessimists are always looking for the downside and the problem in every opportunity. When you honestly analyze yourself during this inventory, you will be amazed at how extraordinary you really are and how incredible your potential is for accomplishing the things that you really desire. Recall your accomplishments. Think of your unique talents and abilities. Think about your future possibilities and the fact that your potential is virtually unlimited. One way to raise your level of self-acceptance, that is, to pick a role model someone you admire and look up to and want to be like, and then pattern your life and your work after that person. Look for the silver lining or whatever cloud may be hanging over your head right now. Look for the lesson or opportunity in each obstacle or setback. It's your choice. Have a good day. Until next time.